Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today I'm going to show you how to link a graphic to an object in Premiere and yes, this can be done in Premiere. Okay, so I have this callout graphic that I've designed in Premiere and what I want to do is link it to the castle in the footage. Now the two most common ways of doing this is to either send it to After Effects and do it there or stay in Premiere where I manually have to do it one frame at a time. But there is a third option that not a lot of people know about and that is to track the object in After Effects but do everything else in Premiere. So let's have a look at how to do this. The first thing I'm going to do is I want to duplicate my footage. So I'm going to hold down my Option or Alt key and just click and drag to somewhere else on my timeline. And then I want to create a new adjustment layer. So I'll go up to File, New Adjustment Layer and just make sure that it matches the settings of your sequence. I'll click OK. And then I'm going to drag this on top of that duplicate footage. And I want this adjustment layer to be the same length as my footage. And now I need to send both of these over to After Effects. The easiest way to do this is to just select them both, right click, and I'm going to choose Replace with After Effects Composition. And then you'll be prompted to save a new After Effects project. And it's brought my footage and my adjustment layer into that project. So what I'm going to do is select my footage in the timeline and then I want to bring up the tracker panel. So I'll go up to window and tracker and here it is on the right. I'm going to choose track motion and what this has done is it's added a track point to my footage. It's a little hard to see because this is 4K footage so I might just grab the zoom tool and just zoom in on my footage a bit more and then I'll switch back over to my selection tool and you'll notice that if I move my mouse over this track point, the cursor is changing. And the cursor that we're looking for is the black arrow with the move icon next to it. And when you have this cursor, you can click and drag and choose the point that you want to track. So I'm going to track the window on the castle and a good tracking point will have high contrast edges. I might just zoom in on this a little bit more so we can see what we're looking at here. So what we actually have is two boxes, a small one and a big one. And the small box is what's known as the feature region. So this is what After Effects is going to look for when it's analyzing the footage. Then we have this bigger outer square, which is known as the search region. And this is where After Effects is going to look for the feature region in the next frame. So if I switch back over to my selection tool, I do have the ability to change these and make them bigger, but just know that the bigger you make these, the longer it will take to track your footage. But I'm pretty happy with what I have here, so I'm going to go back over to my tracker panel and I'm going to choose Analyze Forward. And you can see it's done a pretty good job of tracking that window in the castle. I'm just going to zoom out again, so I'm going to change this from 800% to fit, so I can see the whole picture again. And now what we need to do is apply those tracking points to another layer. And that's the whole reason we've brought that adjustment layer in. So I'm going to go back over to my tracker panel and I'm going to choose edit target. And I'm going to choose the adjustment layer as my motion target. I'll click OK. And then in the tracker panel, I'm going to choose apply. We want to apply both the X and Y dimensions. And now it's added that tracking data to the adjustment layer. And now we're actually done in After Effects. All I need to do is select that adjustment layer in my timeline, go up and choose Edit, Copy, and then I'll jump back over to Premiere. I don't need this After Effects comp anymore. I'm just going to delete that. And then I'll go up to my Edit menu and I want to choose Paste. And now it's pasted that adjustment layer from After Effects back into my Premiere project. But have a look at this. If we go up to the Effect Controls, you can see that all of that position data has been included with the adjustment layer. So now what I can do is select the adjustment layer, go up and choose edit, copy. I'm gonna go back over to my original graphic and select it. And now I'm gonna choose edit, paste attributes. And the only thing we wanna paste here is the motion settings and then click okay. And now that graphic will be linked to the castle. If you find that it's a little offset and maybe it's not exactly where you want it to be, I'm just going to close up my graphic settings here, go down to my motion settings, and you can adjust this exactly where you need it to be. And now you have a motion track graphic inside of Premiere Pro. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.